We know the population sizes, we know the rate of decline, and we know the threats between Mexico, where they're threatened by forest loss, and up to the breeding range, where we know the threats can range from use of pesticides, herbicides, habitat loss, and climate change. Given the threats, it's really unsurprising that populations are declining and declining as fast as they are. And we need to do things now to protect monarchs and keep them from falling further. The listing on the IUCN Red List is a good step in that direction because it draws more attention to the decline of monarchs and the need to promote their recovery.